Um, I want to use this medium to thank Nigerians for their time, patience, and uh, even endurance. It has not been easy. Uh, situation of the country. We know what uh, is happening to everybody. In fact, everybody are feeling the heat. It's not just an. Uh, it's not individual. It's not about you. It's not about me. All of us are feeling the heat together. But we are thanking God. As much we are still alive and there is hope, we believe whatever challenges and obstacles on our way, together we are going to conquer it. So at this uh, point in time, it has been a hectic, um, <coughs> a hectic activities, boarding in uh, this project, which we call UAG. Um, for the past two to three weeks, we have been uh, experiencing a lot of issues, controversies, Ula Balu, all over the social media concerning the sources of this of this project, which is disbursement. Some people said that uh, uh, we organ pressure group of oh, uh, the president. Am I on? Am I online? Actually, yeah, you are yeah. on your voice. People on. have uh, actually submitted and speculated that uh, organ pressure group and apostle Ken are the people holding this money in which we have brought all our possible best to see how we can disagree such a notion. But uh, there is still uh, an establishing issue which has made some people concluded and uh, find it difficult not to believe what we have been saying. Um, it is no longer issue that uh, to be taken lightly when this paper came out, this paper publication, allowing three of us, or four of us, to have fixed the disbursement money. So we have to call on the authority that has placed us in this field to see how they can intervene and uh, let whatever underlying issue among us to be said to let this money be disbursed. I said it earlier, even when many people find it difficult to agree with me. To be honest with you, this money has not got into the stated account. However, it is said to have been um, required process to undergo. We may have understanding, of course, but such is not enough to hold this money for uh, it not to be disbursed to the dying Nigerians and uh, the needy and the people that have been waited for long for this money. I said it in my last voice notes, not doing in my interest, no matter how uh, big or mighty I said that interest, it's not enough for me to keep this money 30 minutes where this money is available in a designated place to be disbursed. So, by the grace of God, they are the news is already everywhere. Even before I got the invitation to Lagos, it was already everywhere that uh, we are in Lagos having meetings. So, I want to say that such rumor is not completely false. So, we have been in Lagos for the past three days working and putting finishing touch on this, as well ironing out our differences and um, the discrepancies among us that need to be sorted out uh, were being put in place. I may not be the only person to finish this conversation. Uh, this meeting has found it deep to invite the necessary stakeholders involved in this matter that uh, uh, their name has been uh, uh, published out there to come and tell the masses what is the stake of this. Is this uh, issue or the fight that have been said to be uh, in between us causing the delay? What is the stake of this? Is this actually true that this fight has been resolved? Because I believe many people may not believe me if I should come here to say this, that and this. So we want all the mouth involved in this matter to come and express it by themselves. But on my own side, I want to tell Nigerians that 
I have nothing. Everything in me, all the grievances, and even uh, what we uh, uh, we want to be uh, amended has been amended. The document has been signed, and everything we need to put in place on our side has been put in place. So I want to say that I'm 100% uh, uh, clear as far as my input and my team is concerned. We are 100% clear for what or whatever requirement we need to do has been done for this money to be disbursed. So we want to make this, establish this in everybody's mind so that we will know how to fight to um, as well, the ethics we need to apply at the same time we have to focus on to see that this money is being disbursed and everybody uh, have their own in a way that we are expecting it. At the same time, we will have nothing than to return the glory to Almighty God. We are all being used for this project, but we pray that may we be used positively. Let us not allow ourselves to be used negatively by our choice of words, our action, whatsoever. We pray that we should be used positively. So before I end up this remark, uh, I would like us to post this at uh, this junction so that we can invite Apostle Ken, the country director of Fiji, to come and address the message there his own state in the meeting that was held in Lagos. And if Pastor Alex is also here, it's also necessary for him to talk because he was in the meeting. Thank you so much. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Uh, uh, I want to thank every one of you Nigerians for your patience, just as Mr. President said earlier. Nigeria is a wonderful seat country. We are very tough. We can manage any situation. Some of the things we endure in other countries, you see people dying and falling on the street. But God has been with us. He made us very strong because we are great people. I want to thank every one of you for your patience. And I decided to be in this meeting with my whole heart just to let you know that uh, what speculated in the social media a few weeks ago was not exactly the way it is. So many things, exaggerations happened. But I want to let you know that uh, as it is today, we don't have any problem. All Grand Pressure Group and myself, my person, are not different. All Grand Pressure Group and UAA, your future and country director, are not different. We've been working together for a very long time. The one thing you should know, every mature man should understand that nothing good comes so easy. We don't expect the devil to fold his hand and be clapping for us as we are making progress to what we have been pushing for. We have been in this uh, pursuit of this grant for a long time now. And we've been working together, meeting and strategizing together. Until God opened the door, through a channel from this same all-grand pressure group that shows the light of what we have been pursuing, where we can be boldly said, yes, we, we have gotten the right people. And the process continues. Few weeks ago, the devil threw a bomb in Amit, scatter everything. But I thank God that he did not succeed. As it is now, we don't have any issue. But there's something I want to touch here concerning the whole saga. People were alleging greed and all manners of things. A lot of people were preaching to me. A lot of people were calling names of all grand pressure groups and even myself for our greed and sharing. Nigerians who have never had misunderstanding over anything called finance between me and all grand pressure groups. This is truth that God is the witness. So that was a great misconception. It was not because of the money. It was not uh, interest of anybody. But a misunderstanding in working with the team. But few days ago, we were in Lagos. 
while I was still in my house, strategizing how to be in Lagos, make up nothing. Somebody called me. I hope that you are in Lagos now. Nigeria is a very wonderful place. In Grand Community, no secret. And I was very mad with this person because I've not discussed any of my trip anyway. That is the country we find ourselves. No secret in this grand community. Nigerians, I want everybody to be calm. Control yourself. God has already taken over. We spend two or three days in Lagos with the authority because we call them to come and intervene. And they came, invite us to come to Lagos. And we had a meeting. Everybody lay his anger and differences on the table. Believe you me, we sort out ourselves. Yes, the documents were signed. And this is what we have not done before. Most of the time we think it's already over. Only for another thing to surface, not in our hands. But at this point in time, we can boldly tell you we have done everything. It is now left for the government, the authority we are working with, who told us to go, they will get back to us. And by the grace of God, getting back to us will not be long. And it's coming with a good news. So Nigerians keep on praying for us. We don't have this money in our hands or in their, uh, in their particular the account where the money is supposed to be. As the country director of UAG, the money is not in my hand. It's not in the hand of all grand pressure groups, nor the president that do. This is wrong accusation against us. People have been bombarding me with all manners of questions, message, how great, how, why are you keeping the money? Nigeria, we're not talking about one naira here that an individual can keep. We are in, we are in, a, 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 in a situation very tough, but let it not brainwash us, remove our brain sense of reasoning. No single person can collect the money and keep. The money we're talking about grand and people bringing it to us are not ordinary people, they are doing what they're supposed to do. So this money is not yet with us. But we can boldly tell you, we left Lagos and arrived today, that all is well. In a short while, Nigerians will hear good news. It's not when we say you fix a date by yourself, say that we have fixed a date. We didn't fix a date until we receive it. Neither me nor Grand Pressure who has not fixed any date. Please, I beseech you. If we can maintain calm and quietness in a few moments, we shall shout the shout of joy. God has done a great thing. That is why I decided to be in the meeting to let you know there is no problem between me, UAG, or an all grand pressure group. It was the devil who stayed up all those to tear us into pieces. But thank God that our mind and our vision and our heart desire is one to get this grant, give it to Nigeria, so that we too will also rest. We've been on fire for over a year concerning this very UAG grant. I want to beseech every one of you to keep on thanking God and praying, and what God has done, He will finish it. For our differences, there was no problem anymore. We have settled ourselves. Name calling and accusation, please. Keep it one place, He will not do us any good. We are all working for one particular purpose. Thank you so much. And God bless every one of you. I am believing God in a moment from now. There shall be shout of joy in Nigeria. But this meeting is more or less a starting point of what the subsequent action that, uh, that will be required to be done for this birthday to commence. On that note, if I made um, let me say warning, as well advice, last time. There are some people who are finding a gap or an opportunity from the issue at hand to um, express their, their grievances and uh, expose their dirty dealing. When I say dirty dealing, even what happened between us and UAG, I can say that most of it are not in the known of uh, the country director. But there are some bad or scrupulous elements behind the corridor of power. Yeah, they let, let me put, let me address them like that. They thought they can do an unbeat. So those are the people that 
light fire on this issue that make it as if the whole world uh, will be burned down today. But at this, at this moment, the broken wall has been patched and the enemy has been put to shape. On this note, exactly. I want to work every element causing confusion here and there to desist from it. And the mass is, henceforth, you should be able to identify your enemy. Yeah, as I'm talking to you, why the issue is going on? Petition was going on in the villa. This is boss where these people, they don't watch it, look at what they are doing, send it to the storm. They don't know the devil are using them, but they don't know the devil are using them. Some people are hiding themselves under an anonymous name, causing confusion here and there. But what to tell you, no matter how hidden you are, if you like, hide yourself in underground, place a nickname, and you dig in and find who you are. And if you do not desist from what you are doing, we are going to track you to your destination and the law will take this course on your head. Because we are not going to allow few bad eggs, bad elements to scatter what we have all labored for and be expecting to get to our hands. They may think they are finding themselves good by making their name popular or whatsoever they want to achieve. But on the other hand, they are digging pits for themselves that they will enter and they will never come out. I want to okay. enjoy every reasonable people and people that really want good and the success of this project. At this very moment, everybody should stay calm and make sure we uh, maintain high level of tranquility within this moment so that the devil will not have any reason to be used against us because these things have been fought and dragged, battled by various interest groups. It will be so bad on our side that at this point in time, the devil is trying to tear us apart. Please, we very, must, very bad. We yeah. must help ourselves. So, whoever is coming up with any provocative message against any party or any stakeholder, Martin should see that person as the enemy of this project. I won't support mm. that person as spreading or accepting whatever message or voice note the person is making. And I also want to let you know, whatever object is coming from any angle who will say that personality they claim they are set to be, that is not from this platform, never the matter of country director, please reject it. A lot of people have been misled yeah. people, the money has gone, the disbursement will happen tomorrow, at the end of the day, where are we? We, we have gotten updates over the time. Where that update, where has it led us to? Nothing. Please, we have to see how we can maintain a high standard of ethics at this point in time to see what God will do for us. Thank you so much. Yes, I, I have something to add to what I have said to Nigeria. Okay. There's this rumor that uh, uh, Abdul Yakub has been profiled to replace Apostle Ken. This one has been profiled to replace Apostle Ken. Masses, all these things are lies. It's not true. A lot of things have been said in the polity just to dis disrupt the process. There is nothing like that. We are together. Nobody's replaced me. Nobody's taking up anybody. All of us are working as a team. I need to say this so that they hear from me. Those who are sympathizing me and they started dropping bombs. Please, I beg you, stop. There's nothing like that. Those who are sympathizing Abdul, trying to drop bombs everywhere, please stop it. There's no issue. We are not hypocritical. We spent two full days together sorting out issue, and we are good to go. Thank you, Nigeria, and God bless you. Please be careful so what you hear. God bless you. Thank you so much. And uh, Mr. President, thank you so much for this clarity. I want to apologize. My network was so bad. I just got another network now to join. Uh, please, Nigerians, you have heard it from Mr. President and from country director himself. I think there is no way you will set up a fire and expect everywhere to be calm. So those of you that are warriors on social media, creating one propaganda and the other, if you set a fire, it will burn. And as it is burning, it is delaying you. 
So please, everybody should be very careful what you say. Don't just hear rumor and carry it as if you're hawking it. Start spreading it up and down that this and that have happened. I think the last time I checked, uh, all ground pressure groups have always been keen to update you anytime there is need.